Well, hello everyone. Hope everybody's doing great. This is a Country Cuz for the Hump Day Report, January the 13th. Yes. Anyway, let me give you an update. I'm going to do a lesson today and give you a demonstration of some uh, D minor tuning on the lap steel. But first, I'm going to show y'all something. I got my package yesterday at 5.30, folks. And I want y'all to read this right here. Remember I told you about that I had paid for? Right here. I hope y'all can see that. Because I can't hardly see you in that. Anyway, what it says is, this is a priority overnight package that I paid for to be delivered on Friday, January the 8th. And I got it on uh, January the 12th. <laughs> so it's kind of late. I traced it yesterday morning. It said it'd be here by noon, by dinner. I'm going to move out of the camera a minute, excuse me. Anyway, and it wasn't. But here's a, let me get the old lap steel guitar for what you're here for. But anyway, we got it. But I'm going to say that I guess the whole world's gone crazy. Anyway, I'm going to zoom you in on the guitar here in just a second. Well, first, let me give you a little listen to what we're talking about today. This is tuned in an open D, but a minor in it. That's D, A, D, and that right there is an F, not an F sharp. And then go back to an A and a D. tuning I call it because it's the 13th so we gonna go to the 13th day of the spooky day here and I'm gonna zoom y'all in now and we'll show you what we're talking about so y'all stand by for the zoom in and come on in people well hello everyone and welcome back to the zoom in and uh, what we was talking about earlier is this uh and then you know I call it my spooky tuning. I put a tuning right right across here, and it's gonna be a D, a A, a D, and a F. Not a F sharp. If I was tuning it open D like normal, that would be a F sharp. But this third string is a F. The second string is a A, and sixth string, I mean the first string is a D. I'm trying to get this thing in the camera because I know I'm bad about doing that, moving around. All right? Anyway, I'm using the uh, first string and hit it twice. Right? Don't hurt to get your sound going. Go one, two, and five. Either. But I always keep these fingers here down behind it. See, we ain't got none of this. Then skip over here to your third string, hit it open, go down on the second and third fret. Slide back, open, and, uh, go to the uh, fourth string, 
and hit it on second fret. <laughs> and go sliding up to the fifth fret. Give it some of that vibro. Then go back open. Then hit the seventh fret. Slide back to that five. Then slide all the way up to that twelfth fret. Just rake your pick across. Like that. Then give it. Then go to the seventh fret. Then go nine and ten. And then slide down to the fifth fret.
And there you have a little spooky tune with a lesson this morning. I hope y'all practice that. And whenever you uh, got that bar down on your fifth fret, that's it. Give it a little vibro. so far. <coughs> Fellow Express finally showed up a few days late, but nevertheless, they came through. Funny thing is, I was in the bathroom when they come. My wife answered the door. She said the man handed her the, the envelope and boom, took off. And then I looked on my tracking number and said that I had signed for it. Well, we didn't sign a doggone thing. So FedEx, y'all need to talk to your drivers about what signing for paperwork means. So back when I owned a trucking company, if we didn't sign for our delivery, we didn't get paid. We made sure if we had sat there all day, somebody signed that uh, delivery receipt on that thing, bill of lading, they call it. But Federal Express apparently don't have to do that. They signed for me. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna do something different today and I'll let y'all know how this turns out in the next video. I went online yesterday into Walmart and ordered my groceries, about $85. All I ordered was canned goods and uh, didn't order nothing that was like, I gotta get eggs and milk and butter, but I didn't order them three things because I don't know when they pull these orders and I sure don't want my milk and my eggs and my butter sitting in a cart overnight because I ordered yesterday, got a 8.30 to 9, I believe, pickup time. I don't have a cell phone, so I have to go down there and they got a kiosk tower that you punch in your order number, your name. I don't even know how it works. I'm gonna find out. So, I'll let y'all know the update on shopping online at Walmart. I'm thinking I'm gonna like it if it turns out like I think it will. Alright, y'all have a safe week out there and watch out for all this crazy political stuff is trying to happen right now. I don't know what's going to happen. All my stocks was like this yesterday, so what I did on every stock I got, I got a stop order, so if they go low, they'll sell today. Boom, 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 boom. That's fine. And then I can rebuy later or rebuy new ones. I day trade anyway, but uh, if they go up, I don't care how high they go up, that'll be a good thing. 
then I sell them later because the stock ain't nothing but a commodity <coughs> or ownership of a piece of a corporation or a business that's raising money and that stock, I don't care how high it goes up, it ain't worth a dime until you sell it. That's when you pull your profit out and that's when you made a, a gain. As long as you keep it in there, it might be going up, but you can't call it a profit to me until it's sold. And you got it in your hand or the bank or in your brokerage account. I've got two accounts, one with TD Ameritrade, one with uh, WeBull. And if y'all like WeBull, you get free t two free stocks right now. With WeBull, I'll try to put a link down there below. If you want free stock, sign up for a free account with WeBull, get two stocks free. Now, if you want four stocks free, you can put $100 in that account. And that's what I did. I put $100 in there, and my $100 now has grown to $175. And I sold two of the stock because they was dogs, <laughs> but two of them went up. And I'm holding on to them, but I sold two of them and turned around and bought two more with my money that was going up. So right now I'm on the uptrend. I don't buy stocks that's going down unless I know for a fact that it's a good quality stock and it's going to turn around and come up. I use Country Cuss Saw Method. I buy and stop, looks like a saw blade. I buy down here, sell up here, buy down here, sell up here. I call that my saw blade method. If y'all are interested in the saw blade method, let me know. I'll give you a screenshot of it and show you what I'm talking about. It's easy and it's been very profitable. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take them check, that check that come in today, I'm going to drop it over there in the stock market. But y'all be careful with the stock market right now because the stock market's got high volatility because of all this crap that's going on up in Washington, D.C. I don't know what's going to happen, but they say something bad's going to happen, I don't know. You know, so we'll see. I hope everybody has a great week out there, and thanks for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber, go down there. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, give me a thumbs up for a like, that helps everybody find my channel. Thank y'all.